Hey guys, today we're looking at these Elk Tracker 1000 gram Fensilates. Stock number 860. Got a good show for you. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so uh, I'll kick this off first uh, with a little bit of backstory. So, this year hunting out on the wide open prairie. I was using those, the Red Wing Loggers uh, 812s. And they're fantastic boots. Um, no complaints on them. Obviously they're online, so you gotta sock up, which, you know, knowing ahead of time, that's okay. But uh, the way I enjoy wearing my pants when I'm hunting is I like tucking them in my boot and lacing them in so they're not catching on uh, brambles and bushes and sticks and stuff like that. But uh, the problem with that is even though you're gonna have your boot tied up around your leg, you can still get snow in between your pant leg and here. That melts down, ends up inside of your boot. So I did come up with a system to overcome that. I'm going to show you a video on that. Should be good. But uh, pretty cold feet, and that kind of put me off. But anyway, so coming into the end of the year, I decided it's time to invest in a pair of boots and I decided to go with these. These are the 1000 gram insulated Irish Setter Elk Trackers uh, 860. Super warm. They're awesome. Uh, you don't need thick socks with these. Bring them, obviously, but uh, compared to those Red Wings, they are night and day. They are so warm and comfortable. They're absolutely awesome. But Nice thick lugged sole. Come with these really nice heavy laces. Uh, I'm really enjoying them. Uh, got a tongue protector so you can really get pressure on your foot here without having to worry about getting uh, pressure pain on your foot because it gives you that extra layer of uh, leather. Uh, obviously these eyes are the ones I was talking about in the previous video where they're two round pieces crimped together instead of the ones that go through and they kind of star out. Uh, so these are made in China. <coughs> Boo, yeah. But I will say they're they are really well made for being made in China. Uh, obviously all the materials are probably from US so it's just someone over there stitching them together. Uh, you got triple stitching everywhere that wraps around your foot. And everything above, going into your ankle, you got double stitching, uh, triple stitching on the bottom of your pull tab here, and on the cuff for your leg. Uh, in terms of eyelets, I think these do pull through a little bit better than the Red Wing eyelets. Uh, the way the lace can tighten up further down when you're tightening up your boots. These clasps, or the speed hooks way better than the Red Wing ones. The Red Wing ones are just a little bit too small that I miss them half the time when I'm going to lace up quickly. These ones are nice and chunky so they got that extra little surface area to grab or whatever. Uh, and then obviously the tongue's connected all the way up here and just for reference, see how high up that is. That's gonna be nine and a half inches up is where the tongue finishes being connected and just for it's eight inches on the steel toed work boots and it is also eight inches on the loggers so the star of the show is this thousand gram fensilate inside which is really 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 nice uh, half the time do even have to lace up the boots just because this fensilate through your top of your foot and the sides of your foot and heel this really holds your foot in nice. Uh, you have some canvas in here that ties between the tongue and the actual ankle support of the boot. Um, for most things, this type of lacing is okay. Obviously, this is just my speed lacing style, so I can just pull them through and be able to go in a jiffy. But when you're really going out there, I like to tie my bottom section here and my top section separate. So I'll tighten this down as much as I can here. And then I'll do my twist knot 
and then I'll go into the speed hooks just so we have that differentiation between the tightness up on your ankle and down on your foot because no matter how much warmth you have in your boot and your socks and your base layers if you can't get blood flow there it's not going to warm be warm uh, these soles have had no problems with them They're really nice and stiff uh, walking on a lot of ice and stuff in our cul-de-sac here they call it their bullseye air bob soles I guess um, super good uh, you got some like really high traction zones on the front and back I assume for climbing and then you have the grippier soles here in the middle uh, you got a leather Goodyear welted sole on here uh, it's kind of partially Goodyear welted and then this bottom one is uh, actually glued on so in the heel you have a heel I don't know I'm not sure of the certain real term but it alleviates the pressure on your heel by adding that little crimp in there but another really nice thing they knew you were gonna walk a long distance when you're hunting elk or deer or whatever you're hunting so really nice nice thick pull tab for the front you can grab the tongue for the or for the back you can grab the tongue for the front and that's the red wing elk tracker uh stay tuned we should have another pair of boots around here to review so like and subscribe and stay tuned everyone have a good day